If you like this video, why not subscribe? Hey everybody, today on the Frugal Filmmaker Tip of the Month, I want to share with you a quick tip on how you can use your video editor like Photoshop. Now here I've got Sony Vegas, but this applies to any video editor, uh, I'm pretty sure. Uh, if you're wondering about my funky layout here, uh, refer to my other video, which is, a, I'll leave a link below, or an annotation about how, why it looks like this on my desktop, because yours is probably flipped if you use Sony Vegas. At any rate, uh, one thing I want to do is just show how you can do a simple uh, YouTube thumbnail uh, using your video editor instead of something like Photoshop. You may know uh, all the tools are available in your video editor, kind of mimic Photoshop, but I'll share this with you anyway because you might not know it. Uh, the first thing you should do is YouTube recommends you upload a 1280 by 720 thumbnail so you can have a high def thumbnail. So if you notice down here in the project settings, this is kind of typical. Here's sort of a typical uh, high def setup if you're going to edit video. It's 1920 by 1080 at 24 frames, 24p or 23.976p, basically 24 frames per second. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is change this to the end result, which is 1280 by uh, 720p. So if you just look through your list of various setups uh, in any editor you have, just go down to, here I have uh, HDV 720 by 30p. So notice the resolution here, 1280 by 720, which is what you want. So go ahead and activate that, hit OK, and now notice the project resolution has changed to the end result which you want. Uh, to upload your YouTube thumbnail at. So the next thing you're going to do is pull your uh, a picture up to the timeline, whatever picture you want. Now notice uh, that this isn't in 16 by 9, so I'm just going to go ahead and use some of my editing tools here. This is a uh, pan crop tool in Vegas, but anything that allows you to manipulate uh, the frame here will work. And go to this drop down box and select 16 by 9 widescreen TV aspect ratio because that's the ratio of YouTube. Now, as you notice, the graphic fills the screen, and now I can move this uh, window here. Again, it's probably similar in most editors to a position that I want. I'm going to insert text here, and you might recognize this thumbnail. This is my last recap Q&A video thumbnail, so I've already got it ready. Uh, there, so I've created some white space on the left to put text in, and I've already got my text prepared. Again, and however you do this in your editor, I mean, it's going to change across platforms, but I'm just... Uh, showing you how to do it in Vegas, but I'm just going to check the text on my safe title area here. Notice it lines up because that's what I want so it doesn't go too far. If I want to adjust it, I can always go into the pan crop tool um, and move it around like so, so that it lines up a little better. I can also do that in the text editing tool. Again, wh however your editor dictates, you can move that text around. Um, go ahead and do it. Okay, so now I've got the, the picture that I want. And again, you can have, because it's a video editor, you can have multiple layers, you can have multiple effects. All I have to do now is go to the uh, snapshot tool here, save snapshot to file, and then when I press it, I can then save the image, whatever I want to call it. YT thumbnail is what I typically use it, so, as long as I spell it right. And I'll hit save. And now, if I go to my desktop, and I check the properties here, notice it's 1280 by 720. It's the perfect size for the YouTube thumbnail and I've done this all without using Photoshop or any kind of photo editor. I've done it inside my video editor which I prefer using and I'm more familiar with. This has been the Frugal Filmmaker Tip of the Month.